Today, we are thrilled to be addressing a fan question. The question is, what exactly happens to our kidneys when we are dehydrated? Well, as you all know, our kidneys are our cleaning machines. They clean out our blood and all the toxins that are generated in our body from our day-to-day -day activities are excreted in the urine. Well, when, our, when we are dehydrated, we have less effective circulating volume which means we have less blood. When we have less blood, two things can happen. Number one, less blood reaches the kidneys and hence they are unable to perform their duty of cleaning the blood. So the toxins generated in our body start getting retained and they can cause problems. So that is one aspect of dehydration. The next more important form of dehydration causing damage to our kidneys is that if our kidneys get less blood supply, they of course get less oxygen. And this can cause what we call kidney necrosis or kidney damage, which can manifest as acute kidney failure. Sometimes um, you will see doctors saying the patient has ATN, um, that is necrosis of the kidneys. And if not rapidly corrected, it can have deleterious effects on your kidneys that can manifest as acute kidney failure or also ongoing chronic kidney disease. Just like any organs in your body um, have damage due to low blood flow or low oxygen supply. For example, if your heart gets low blood flow or low oxygen supply, you can have a heart attack. In the same way, a person who has a blocked artery to their brain can have a stroke because of less oxygen, less blood supply. In the same way, the kidneys um, have this problem due to dehydration. Fortunately, mild forms of dehydration can be easily corrected. Sometimes moderate forms to severe forms may require IV fluid administration. And if the dehydration is very chronic, then you can have long-term deleterious effects to the kidneys such as chronic kidney disease on top of acute kidney failure. Thank you and keep the questions coming.